Our next honoree is the one and only Fyrish Finkel. Fyrish Finkel is an American actor. He is best known as a star of Yiddish theater and for his role as the lawyer Douglas Wamba on the television series Picket Fences. Born in Brownsville, Brooklyn, on stage at age nine, he then made his way to Broadway in the original 1964 production of the musical Fiddler on the Roof. Fibish has won an American Comedy Award, an Emmy Award, and an Obie Award. Fibish Finkel. He's just cool. He's just cool. My parents love him, my just generation cool. loves him. What am I, the last one? Last but not least. <laughs> May I say this? In all sincerity, you talk about Brooklyn. I was born in Brownsville, Brooklyn. My son that is here, Elliot, was born in Brooklyn. My other son was born in Brooklyn. We are complete Brooklynites. And God has been very good to me to let me have 93 years. Yes. Of course, with this audience, it's no big deal. <laughs> Half of my life is over. <laughs> but Brooklyn means a lot to me. I started my career in Brooklyn, in the Yiddish theater. I was nine years old. There was a theater on Hopkinson Avenue and Pitkin Avenue. I was a child then, and I've been in the Yiddish theater till I was 43 years old. Then I went in, don't applaud, I'll need it later. <laughs> and, then, and then I appeared in the American theater. I, you know, God has been good to me. I always thank God, believe me. I've been in the American theater, television, movies, and I'm a very proud person that I could say I'm Feivish Finkel and I'm Jewish. Whether you like it or not, I told these producers, you will not change my name, you'll change the picture. <laughs> I am Jewish and I remain Jewish and I love being Jewish. I let the whole world know that I'm, that I'm Jewish. My grandfather was a shamus. He was a shamus in the shul. People came over to him for favors. I'll never forget, one man came to him on a Wednesday evening for a minion. He was saying Kaddish. And he says to him, I happened to be there at the time, and my grandfather says, Anaya Michigan. I can't get them Saturday. He's once Wednesday night. Look at him. The man said, look, mister, he said to my grandfather, I'll give you $50, get me a minion. 1937, dear ladies and gentlemen, $50 was pretty nice money. He couldn't think, where's he going to get the people? But he said to the man, look, I have a minion. You and I are two. Two and two is four. <laughs> Together we'll be six. <laughs> we'll look in the mirror, we'll have 12. So the man said, gee, that's wonderful, but I heard you only need 10 for a minion. He says, good, we'll walk away, let the others have him. <laughs> and I can't leave today without reciting a poem of how I feel with this great honor here that we have today. Really one of the greatest honors, and I, it'll be with me in my heart for the rest of my life. So please, let me recite this poem, if I may. It's three wishes, and I would say, I wish I had a telescope to scan the starry skies. But since I have no telescope, I'm glad I have two eyes. And I wish I had a kitchen run by push-button commands. Oh, well, but since that kitchen is still a dream, I'm glad I have two hands. And I wish I had a Rolls Royce to give you, my friends, a ride, a treat. Maybe it'll be a few months later, but till that world wars comes, I'm glad I have two feet. I look, I have a telescope with eyes to look to God above. 
hands to clasp in prayer, and I have feet to take me to my house of worship, to the synagogue, whenever and wherever I want to go. So ladies and gentlemen, may I say this real politely and modestly, you're looking at a millionaire. Thank you for everything. <laughs>